Welcome to the Flash by Night channel. I am TJ, aka Flash by Night, and you are here with me, Keeping Up with the Comics, where I review and spoil some of the comics that I am currently reading. And the comic we are keeping up with today is Future State Justice League number one. So we open the book basically getting all the accolades, all of the love and adulation uh, that the Justice League has garnered over the years for tackling crisis after crisis, for saving the multiverse. And we're introduced to the members of the newest iteration of the Justice League. Uh, you have Superman, John Kent, who has taken out the Edna, no capes. We have Joe Mulin, I believe it is, um, who is the Green Lantern from the Far Sector book. You also have a Mystery Flash. You have Wonder Woman, Yaw Floor, who is the next Wonder Woman from this Future State um, series. And then you have Tim Fox, Batman, and Andy Curry, who is the daughter of Aquaman and Mira. So along with all the love and adulation that the Justice League gets, you know there's some hate. And that hate is coming from this new version of the Legion of Doom with new versions of some of the Justice League's old foes. And they basically want the Justice League to die. But they're going to do it or try to do it in an interesting way. What's that you say? This new Legion of Doom that we just met is dead? Is that real? How can that be? So as the League investigates the death or apparent death of this new Legion of Doom um, in the Hall of Justice, no less, they kind of give us a flashback and catch us up on why there is a new Justice League and what happened to the old Justice League. Apparently, some member of the old Justice League knew everyone's um, secrets, knew everyone's weaknesses, and used it against the League and broke the League up. I am not sure how many League members are actually left alive. I think we can see in the other Future State books. And this kind of changes how the new League operates. The new League wants to be smaller and more compact. They don't share secrets, they don't share weaknesses, and they really don't share secret identities. Uh, a couple of League members do break this rule, but that's kind of the rule going forward for the Justice League. So as the rest of the League disperses and leaves Green Lantern to perform her investigation solo. We get Superman and Wonder Woman coming together like old friends, like they're almost like two members of the Trinity and having hot dogs and kind of talking about their feelings with the League. And we found out that Wonder Woman is all about the rules. She believes in the rules that they set forth for the League. She thinks it keeps them safe, but Superman even though he agrees with her about the rules, he doesn't like how it feels. In the meantime, the Green Lantern keeps up her solo investigation and she finds clues that leads her uh, in a certain direction that may throw you a bit. So we also, so we also come to find that Andy Curry is still close with Aquaman and Mira, they're still around, and she may or may not be in some type of relationship with the new Flash, who goes by Kid Quick or Jess. And then we find out that Green Lantern has broken her case. So Superman and Wonder Woman come to meet Aqua Woman and Flash uh, while Green Lantern is talking to, of all people, Superman. And this is where it really gets hairy. Superman and Wonder Woman here are not Superman and Wonder Woman. Um, the first person they take out is Flash. And while Mira is trying to fight Superman, she discovers that Superman isn't Superman, but it is too late and Mira is also taken out. And then you find that other members of the League are suffering the same fate from people they think are their counterparts. So one by one, Green Lantern falls, Superman falls, Batman falls, Wonder Woman falls, and we are introduced to our new, new Justice League. 
So then everything is made clear. We get the introduction of the Hyper Clan, which looks like a group of white Martians uh, who plan on using the Justice League's identity for whatever they have planned for the Earth uh, in the future. And that is Future State Justice League number one. I'm excited about this series as short as it may be. Joshua Williamson, as always, is up to something. He has something cooking. I am intrigued. I'd like to know where the Justice League went to. I don't think they're dead, but you never know. I haven't read the solicitations for the next issue, so I don't know what's going on with them, but we will have to see. And that was Keeping Up With The Comics. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, hit the like button. And if you want to keep up with me, Keeping Up With The Comics, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a comment if you'd like, do all the good YouTube things. And as always, love yourself, love others, and I will be back in a flash.